Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. It is garbage day. It's Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, we are back in the shed. We have, I think I've got 10 orders to pull. No, 11 things to pull this morning. Uh, Candace is, um, she's progressing along with her recuperation. And she's doing fine. Just saw her like two minutes ago. She's, she's resting. So, uh, Hopefully it won't be too, too long before you guys see her again, at least for just a few minutes, not maybe for a full work day. But uh, looking forward to having her back for sure. It's been, but it's been almost two years that she's been working with me full time in the shed. And in that two years, I got really used to working with her. Like um, before that, I worked alone for years and uh, comparing the two now, working alone versus working with her, working alone kind of sucks <laughs> in in comparison. So I'll be glad when she gets back in here. So I'm sure she will be too. But yeah, we do have uh, those orders to pull. Let's go ahead and get started with that. On CC11, right here, sold this clock, Mickey Mouse clock. Uh, sold for $14.99 plus ship and then uh, on a different order, but in definitely in the same vein, sold this other Mickey Mouse clock too. And they both do run. They're both running right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, they both sold for $14.99 a piece to two different buyers. Don't have a lot of cards going out, but we do have a couple. On one order, we have U8. It'll be easy enough to get to. That's a Devery Henderson auto card some some number of 14.99 i think he played uh college football at lsu and he also played for the saints and it almost slipped out of there some of these some of the uh thicker cards you have to use the thicker top loaders on and some of them don't match quite exactly so this is one that's loose for sure so definitely got to make sure you uh stop these from sliding out whenever you pack them Another card from 4B-119, I'm going to put you on the air condition for just a minute, B1, I think it was 119, I hope it was, I don't want to have to go back over there, Spectra Flash I think it was, yep, Flash and Reverse Flash, that card sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. And yes, I am running the air conditioner. It was like, it's not hot or cold or anything, but uh, it was like uh, 75 or so last night. So it got a little bit stuffy in here. It, we're in that time of year where one day we're running heater, next day we're running air conditioner, or sometimes both in the same day. All right, Joe drawer, something I listed yesterday. This Nintendo Zapper gun sold for $9.99 plus ship. And uh, something to know about zapper guns is they have to be used with a CRT. I mean, uh, any kind of, any body, any retro gamer already knows that. But uh, the last zapper we sold, I think we sold just the gray zapper. And after the guy got it, he said it didn't work. And then I asked him what kind of TV he was using. Was it an LCD or a CRT? And he said it was an LCD. These don't work with LCDs. So I told him, look, it, it doesn't work with an LCD. You have to use a CRT for it to work. And the guy didn't believe me. He was like, oh, I'm sure it works with all TVs. And I'm like, Google it. <laughs> Google it. It doesn't work with LCDs. And then I didn't hear from him again. So either he got it working or he just gave up. I'm not sure. So in this listing, I put only works with CRTs quick interruption from the future have a little more info about the zapper gun last night when i looked at my ebay account i noticed that i had a negative feedback that i'll show you there uh, that was for the first zapper gun that i sold back in november and he did leave a negative and i did not deserve a negative there because it's no fault of my own so i am a victim here Right, I am gonna try and get that removed from the account. I'm gonna contact eBay. However, um, on the second zapper gun, I did learn from the first sale 
that not everybody knows that they don't work with CRTs and that I should put that in the listing. And I do think that both are true. A, that buyer should not have left me a negative and B, I could have done a little more to avoid getting a negative by saying, note does not work with modern TVs or maybe even put it in the title. You know, something like that to avoid that situation altogether. So, uh, on the second zapper gun, I did put the warning in the description. I might move it to the title next time, but I am going to fight this. I will. I'm going to, whenever I work up the courage to talk to eBay, not courage, I don't know what you call that. Whenever I feel like talking to eBay won't make me nauseous, I'll give, I'll call in and, and see what they say, see if they'll take it off. And if that doesn't work, I can contact eBay for business on Facebook. Um, if they're still doing stuff like that back to the video all right something else i listed yesterday cc11 listed and sold this pokemon mewtwo by tomi it's a 2016 figure that sold for 24.99 plus ship I do have more cards going out h i have a, two of these replacement cards for uh what are they called oh Limited edition hollow foils. Sold this uh, Hulk H4, and then I'm looking for an H7, which is a Scarlet Witch. And you can see what those two cards sold for on the screen. There's six Echo. Move all my stuff. Constantly shifting stuff around. Six Echo. Is this the right one? It's got to be. I don't think I would have put two on the same shelf. Uh, Dennis Rodman, orange hair. That's it. This guy sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. That's one of the few starting lineups I took out of the starting lineups before I offloaded all of them at a garage sale. Just kept like maybe 10. D&D. &D, we sold a Sofubi thing. Oh, this guy. Right here. I think it's supposed to be some kind of custom thing or what I really don't know that much about it Candace did a little research on it and uh, she could tell us probably more about it if she was in here but she's not sold this guy for $56.99 plus shipping on top then CC6 we sold this Fontanini right here this is a oh it's all three kings this sold oh this sold for a pretty good bit i didn't realize it sold for the oh this is one of the ones no i guess i just didn't realize this one got listed for that much okay so anyway this this sold for 35.99 plus shipping on top and one more thing to pull on a fairly light sales day i have a feeling until candace gets back in here it's gonna be like not super heavy sales days just because i'm quite honestly i'm not going to i just don't feel like i'm going to get the number of listings out that it's going to require for sales to really really pop uh, maybe it's down here ah here we go this is it right here river bend station it's got a river boat there river bend is uh i know it's got a little scene of a river boat on the river thing here but uh, this is actually a hat for a nuclear power plant uh, called River Bend. So that is everything going out. Let me put these hats away. Okay, I went to storage again just now. All the packages are out. Uploading the video talking about um, talking about Candace's surgery. That's going to get published here pretty soon. That would have happened days ago now. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping we cover that well. Because we, we, we wanted to talk about it, but like we didn't want to give like complete information. So I know that's going to be a little frustrating for some of y'all. But that's what, that's what we felt like doing. Or that's what Candace wanted to do. So uh, anyways, this is the stuff I got. I just brought this bin to my storage unit, filled it up with stuff, and I brought it back. And not all of this stuff is going to be sellable. Some of it's not. And some of it might be really good. And some of it might be just mediocre. So that's what i'm gonna be uh working with today i actually just sold one of these the other day so i saw this on the shelf in storage and i was like oh 
Okay, I'll get that. <laughs> That's a Skyrama, Astroworld Skyrama on that side, and then it's got the 610 Limited on the other side. Just sold one of these, I'm telling you. Um, had a couple of Sony Walkmans here, untested so far. I'm gonna test them out today. This is a good deal I got on these tapes, huh? 10 pack of these, normal bias tapes, 50 cents. And I got some hats, Auburn. That's like a Green Lantern hat or something. That's a Saints hat behind there. Those would be nice little quick listers. Some kind of Sudoku game. These are, um, this is some kind of like old school data cartridge that's new sealed. I don't know if that has any value. Also have some zip, some uh, sealed zip disc three pack there. Had some other, oh, these are also some type of old, um, old cartridge storage. I'm gonna just see if these have any value. Uh, they might be old enough now to where they do. I don't know. Uh, these are a bunch of fig figurines, all God's children. But I had them, like I had, I probably had a thousand or more of these at one point. But uh, yeah, I'd sent, I'd sent a bunch in to Amazon and a few of them sold and then um, I, I just not did not enjoy my experience trying to sell on Amazon. All the stuff I couldn't sell, I was gated in, and um, I had the storage fees and all that. It just wasn't for me. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do, because I know a lot of people make a lot of money with it. It wasn't for me. And that's why you see like a lot of this stuff will have these stickers. Those are little stickers you, I put on them before I shipped them in. And then at one point, I just recalled everything. And so I'm gonna put these back on eBay now. Uh, you know, these might be worth 10 bucks a pop or something like that. And then got some Wiimotes here. Need to test those out. Uh, have an Exxon ashtray from 1972. <laughs> I got for 25 cents apparently. This was interesting. This is a, this little case right here. 1836 Johnson. I don't know if that, well, it fits the coin. But look, it says big, heavy coin. John Paul II visits New Orleans in 1987. Check that out. That's kind of cool. I remember when that happened. It's kind of a big deal around here. Really big deal, actually. Catholics are big in New Orleans. Uh, so I don't even know what I paid for that. I don't remember anything about this. So we'll see. Uh, these might be junk. I might just play with these. Me, Molly and I might play with them, but I'm going to look them up first. Look, they're old. 1988, Ark America, Harrison, Arkansas. Sling Wing Gator Glider. I used to love buying little... When I was a kid, man, I would always buy the little um, balsa wood planes and fly those out in the yard. You flip the wings around, they would do loops. And um, I also love playing with the little parachute guys. You pack their chutes and throw them and they float man those kind of toys but anyway I have two of those that are sealed I think I have is there a camera in here no this bag just has a charger but I do actually have a couple of Sony handy cams on the shelf over here so I brought I did bring this back thinking well let me see if this uh, charger fits any of them and then this is a Sony camera bag, really nice looking actually. Then what is this? Oh, acoustic research. Look at this case, These, this audiophile kind of stuff. I mean, th this weighs so much. <laughs> it's, uh, it is a super thick cable though, I'll give it that. I'm gonna see if this has any value to it. And then, oh, this camera, Vixia HFR30. I don't think I ever tested it either. It does have a power, the uh, power, the supply, power supply, or a charger or whatever. It has the camera here. There's a battery on it, so I should be able to test that. Hopefully, it's worth a little something. And then here's some other odds and ends. That's a that's weird. He-Man on Betamax. <laughs> And then I have, I have a bunch of like, okay, Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero World Tour, some kind of PSP game, Lego Rock Band, Rock Band 3. I know some of these games 
held value for a while track pack one and two and then i could clean them of course with the machine if they need to be clean rock band two this was kind of cool um obsessed with star trek 2500 questions and it's got this little thing built in oh look it turned on i gave that no chance of turning on okay all right so yeah it has all these questions here and i wonder how it knows oh it tells you what question to go to look question 2092 and then you turn there i was wondering how it knew which question you were on it tells you which question okay well that's kind of that's actually pretty sweet i have to get that listed today somebody might want that and then look at this staging den and pack ceremonies that's a that's a cool old book there look at that it's a nice shape too 1961 printing and then we have a troop activities book probably from the same i think it's from the same era 1962 and we have a field book for boys and men i remember the field book back in the day and this is a forest mems electronic formula symbols and circuits i don't know if that's worth anything or not i may have gotten that for myself here's a fat albert on the again this is a betamax <laughs> betamax tape and then this is a pirates game probably has no value so that's everything i brought back i'm gonna start uh start working through this stuff now okay i've been working my way through this stuff that i just showed y'all and uh have been listing some of it this is not the best of stuff i'll admit that uh, i'm putting some of the stuff in this box uh this little pile of stuff here is not worthy of listing in my opinion so that's going to go get donated and the other stuff uh, i haven't looked up all of this stuff over here yet so like these games i don't know which which of that is what but uh i'm going i'm getting through these figures right now and uh Honest, tomorrow i'm hoping i can go find some better stuff in our unlisted inventory because uh this stuff was not that great <laughs> it's not very good at all these are the listings i've gotten done from them so far that this is just from that stuff like nothing over had one the pope john paul coin i think i did at 25 and everything else is less than that so but that's the way it is uh glad to act, finally be going through this stuff a lot of this stuff was bought like th up to three years ago so or more maybe i don't know so it's good that i'm actually taking the time to get through this and uh either list it or get rid of it one way or the other getting it out of our life right so i'm gonna keep on with this and uh this looks like a good time to end it Candace is uh, actually in the comments again as of yesterday. She got me to bring her laptop over so she could uh, start participating there at least anyways. And uh, yeah, hopefully she'll be out here next week. I'm really hoping because I'm going kind of crazy out here by myself to be honest. But thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again soon. Bye y'all.